Are you pumped up and ready to launch a fulfilling career in cybersecurity but feel overwhelmed by the job search process? You're not alone. With so many different cybersecurity job titles and qualifications out there, finding the right opportunity can be daunting, but fear not. Because in this video, I'm going to share with you the tips and tricks that have helped me and many others land their dream cybersecurity job. Whether you're just starting in the field or looking to make a career change, stick around until the end of the video and I guarantee you, you'll feel more confident and equipped to find your perfect cybersecurity job. I'm Jerry Oju with Simply Cyber and this is how to find your dream cybersecurity job. Let's dive into some actionable strategies that will get you noticed by employers, put you on the path to success, and help you find the right job listings. We'll cover everything from networking to searching for job listings in the right places and tailoring your application materials to stand out. First off, if you just send out resumes and pray for a good result like everyone else, you're absolutely missing out on hidden opportunities. You might get some success with this, so it's not a you know zero chance, but ultimately your resume is going to end up on some pile on some HR manager's desk. What I'm going to show you is a proven strategy that I have used to bypass HR's rejection, automation processes, and speak directly with a real person, which can help you land a job faster. This strategy has given me my last few job opportunities, and it's helped members of the Simply Cyber community as well. I've seen them get jobs using the same techniques. From my own personal experience, people were approaching me and asking me what it would take to go work for them, right? So my last two jobs, I was approached and said, hey, we really want you to come work with us. What will it take? And, you know, ultimately, you ask for the moon, you get the moon. You're like, all right, let's 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 do this. Let's go. Now, I know you're eager to hear what this secret is, and if you're a regular of the Simply Cyber community, you know full on because I rail about it all the time. But here it is, networking. And if you're socially introverted, if you're shy, if you have imposter syndrome, stay with me. We're going to get you set up. Now, the power of networking literally cannot be overstated. It is so freaking important, especially when finding success in cybersecurity. In fact, I would say that is absolutely critical and crucial to your success. I've made a bunch of different videos on the Simply Cyber channel, you're welcome to go look at them, of different roles like mechanic to cyber, pharmacist to cyber, stay-at-home parent to cyber. Go check them out, there's a bunch of them. All of those interviews of people who have successfully pivoted into cybersecurity, all of them said that networking was instrumental and many of them said they wish they had started it sooner. So think of it this way, okay? Cybersecurity is a team sport. The people you work with are just as important as the work you do. They wanna work with people that they like and trust and know can do the job. You increase your chances of getting hired by contacting cybersecurity professionals and building relationships. When you warm yourself up to them and they get to know you, they're more likely to like you and recommend you for a job. They know what you can do. They know what your disposition is. They know what you've been doing and contributing. So don't be afraid to start a conversation with someone and get to know them. It could be the key to landing your dream job in cybersecurity. And it is so easy to do. By attending cybersecurity events, joining communities like Simply Cyber's Discord server, you'll meet like-minded professionals and gain an inside track on upcoming job opportunities. So when I say start conversations and reach out to people, I don't mean just like, ah! like you run up to someone and be like, ah, what's up? No, like jump into a Discord server, join a Simply Cyber live stream, say hi and check. If you walked into a cocktail party, for example, you wouldn't just like run up and be like, ah! no, like no one would do that. That'd be insane. If you walk up, and like you listen to the conversation and then you insert yourself like, hey, like, oh yeah, like even if you don't have something to add at that time, you could say, you you know, be honest, like, oh yeah, like I'd heard that. Hi, I'm Jerry. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was X, Y, and Z. Hi, I'm Jerry. Oh I'm, my goodness. you Do you work in cybersecurity? Like you're talking about SOC analyst stuff. It sounds, are you a SOC analyst? Yeah. Oh, hi, I'm Jerry. What is a SOC analyst? Do you enjoy doing it? Simple as that. There's like three different ways to start a conversation, right? Use the live streams of the discords or, or wherever. There's, there's a million places. LinkedIn's a great one. Let's get you sorted out, okay? You could start by building a strong LinkedIn profile. Now, I'm not gonna go in depth on how to build the perfect LinkedIn profile. Maybe I'll do that in a different video, but there's many people on the platform, YouTube, LinkedIn, et cetera, that have made videos on how to do this. So go check their videos out. I know Jack Scott from Outpost Gray has one that's pretty good. Neil Bridges on Cyber and Security's done it. To outline a few key things that you should know, you must have a completed profile where you fill out all your education, your work experience, your skill summary, your achievements, have a professional picture. The more you complete the profile, the more likely you will 
will be noticed. You want a professional look about you because it's basically representing you. Think of your LinkedIn profile as like your resume. You would never hand someone a resume that had like you cross something out in pen or like you misspellings everywhere or you didn't put your name on it or something like that, right? Like you, you wouldn't do that. So treat the LinkedIn the same way. Also bonus tip for your header, check out canva.com. It's a free web app tool that allows you to quickly create LinkedIn banners. They actually have, if you type LinkedIn banner into the search engine on Canva, there's like pre-made templates that you can just leverage like 45 seconds. You could have a better than basic LinkedIn profile banner, okay? When applying for a cybersecurity job, showcasing all of your skills and experience is important. Don't hesitate to include every home lab that you've ever done and the knowledge you gain from free online courses. You don't want to short yourself out on opportunities by only highlighting some of your skills. Now, one effective way to showcase your skills is to post about what you've learned from your experiences. By doing this, you're showing future employers that you're a self-starter, passionate about learning, you have initiative, proactive. And if I were a hiring manager, I'm more likely to hire someone eager to learn and grow on their own than someone who's not. For me, as a you know hiring person in, in InfoSec, I need you to be proactive because I've got my own problems over here and I'm trying to hire you to help me with those problems over there. It's going to be tough if I hire you and then I've still got to go over and, and do all these problems with you. What would be better is I hire you and you take initiative and proactivity, try to solve those problems, and then you bring a couple of the impediments that you've encountered back to me and we work through those, right? So it really shows initiative. Plus, it helps show that you already have experience that you can apply to deliver value to the organization. So you're not just hire me and help me figure it out. You're like, hire me and I can help solve your problems. Feel free to highlight all the work you've put in to developing your skills as well. Doing so will make you more attractive to potential employers and increase your chances of landing your dream job. Now that I've covered the basics of building a strong LinkedIn profile, let's dive into how you can leverage it to land your first or next cybersecurity job. Just a couple things. This is my LinkedIn profile. Customize the URL up here. See how mine's Gerald Osier, you don't want yours to be like whatever Tom Pine 784553. Don't do that, right? Take advantage of this uh, header image. You can use Canva, your profile picture, make sure that's appropriate. This section right here, absolutely don't put your role there. LinkedIn defaults to what your role is, like student or or whatever. What you want here is to put a statement of how you can deliver value. Think of this as like on your resume, it's like your name, and then right below it, it's like your your summary or your objective. Kind of put that here. Let people know what value you're gonna deliver to them. I share my passion for cybersecurity to help individuals and businesses understand, apply, and appreciate cybersecurity to deliver value. That's exactly what I'm doing. You want to definitely do like highlight featured. If you've done a project, a GitLab, a blog post, put it here. Make sure you use graphics. These look good and it's very fetching to the eye. Also be mindful about this about section right here. I want to share this with you. See how it says see more? Whatever you put in the first two or three sentences of your about, make it compelling, make it interesting. My, mine's not that great an example because I'm just a little bit different. But for the most part, make this compelling or interesting. Tell me a little bit about you. Don't fall in the trap that it's like where you're from or what, you know, what you've done or like, you know, like what you're interested in. This is an opportunity to further sell yourself. And by the way, if someone's gone down this far, you've caught their attention already up here. No one's going to scroll down with all due respect unless they're interested in knowing more about you. So make this compelling and then make it so you want them to click see more so they can drill in. It's called below the fold. OK, definitely take advantage of that. So this will get your profile sorted out nicely. Now, when you're finished building your profile, it's time to build your network. Now, there are many ways to do this, right? You can attend local or national cybersecurity conferences or events. There's CTFs all the time. Like some of them are remote, especially in a post-pandemic world. Some of the ones I like, Black Hat, DEF CON. Black Hat's expensive. DEF CON's not really expensive. Like tens of thousands of people there. I liked Wild West Hackenfest personally. B-Sides, like you can see on my shirt here, B-Sides is a kind of a grassroots local community cybersecurity conference type thing. So wherever your area is, like B-Sides, Besides Charleston, besides Miami, besides St. Paul, besides LA, besides Boston. Like, look up your local area and type in besides. You'll probably find one. Like I said, don't sleep on the remote conferences as well, because there's usually a Discord server associated with that conference where you can absolutely meet and engage and connect with people. Now, before we move on, I want to share a fantastic resource with you the Simply Cyber Community Discord. Now, this is my Discord server. I have worked diligently over the past three years to build a very vibrant community that comprises cybersecurity students and professionals who actively support each other. It's very inclusive. It's very supportive. It's very safe. You can ask whatever questions you have and you will get answers. You won't get any snarkiness or any of that other kind of nonsense. We don't have 
room for that. But that's not all. By joining the Discord server, you could take your networking to the next level. Just scroll down to the bottom and post your LinkedIn profile in the LinkedIn channel that's provided and you can connect with other people. Instantly start building your network, right? There's also the Simply Cyber Community Challenge. You join the daily briefings, you'll know what I'm talking about. This way you can expand your network and connect with cybersecurity professionals already, right? You start having a rich, meaningful, deliberate network um, that you are connected with. And for even more value, I highly encourage you to go through the list of over 1,000 people in here and connect with them. When you add them, you can also send a message letting them know, hey, I'm, I'm part of the Simply Cyber community too. How'd you find out about Jerry Osher, right? As you connect with them, ask them how they got into cybersecurity, learn more about them, share a little bit about yourself. I guarantee you, the more that you do this, the more likely you'll build relationships and friendships for life, frankly. For my next strategy, when you search for cybersecurity jobs on LinkedIn, don't just browse the job listings. Take the time to actively seek out employees of companies that interest you and ask them about their experiences working there. Building relationships with people in cybersecurity can also give you the inside scoop on upcoming job openings before they're even listed. This happens all the time. Not only can this help you stay ahead of the competition, but it's also an opportunity to make new friends, expand your professional network, to all the things that we were already talking about, right? And remember, always be respectful of their time and expertise when reaching out to those individuals. You definitely want to say hi, be polite, maybe deliver some value like, hey, I saw you in this chat. I saw you in this stream. What a great talk. What a cool tool. Have you experienced that? Oh, I see you work at Booz Allen. What's it like? Would you recommend people work there? The more that you build relationships on LinkedIn and learn about potential employers, the more you can utilize the platform's job board to find relevant opportunities. The job board allows you to filter by various criteria, including entry level, remote, full time. It makes it easy to narrow down your search and find relevant postings. Plus with new opportunities posted daily, you'll always have new options to look at. Now, one great feature of the LinkedIn job board is that you can often see the hiring team for each company. However, if you don't see their profiles immediately, don't worry. I can show you how to search for it and potentially make a connection with someone on the hiring team. Let's take a look really quick. So I am in LinkedIn. I've gone to their job boards. I've put in GRC security analyst here and let's see what they have. Have. Remote info risk analyst at Synovus, which is a financial company. Financial usually pays kind of well. You can see there's been 200 applicants, so you'll be competing against those 200 people. But if you've been doing your networking and you know someone at Synovus, you might have an inside scoop. You could at least know if it's cool business. But say you don't know anyone there, okay? You got the, the, the write up here. This is all good. This is definitely GRC related skills. Very nice. They have a couple different frameworks. Maybe you research yourself up on some of these. There's the, some requirements here. Two years of IT work experience, okay? So maybe you did help desk. Maybe you did some sysadmin and you're pivoting. Some education is definitely what they're looking for here. So what I would do at this point is I would do this. Let's do search. Let's say Synovus and I guess cyber. Okay, here we go. Joseph France, Director of Information Security at Synovus. Now, Director of Information Security Cyber Threat Defense is different than GRC work, but you can see he's in Georgia. Doesn't have a lot of connections, so he's not really active on the platform. But let's connect with them. Uh, also, InfoSec Pro, thanks for the connection. I mean, I would advise you to say something else. Don't say, hey, I'm looking for a job and I saw that you work at a place with an open rack. But just say, hey, you know, like maybe you look at his profile, passionate about family, Air Force. Maybe you're also former Air Force or former military. Hey, you know what? Retired, retired Marine. I see you were in the Air Force. Awesome. Way to go, vet. Um, let's connect. Okay. He came up in identity and access management. You can see he's got a lot of experience there. So maybe that's a, a common ground. I mean, right there. There's one thing, okay? <laughs> Continuing on, let's do it again. Lee Heim, Senior Director of Cyber Threat Management. Arena Powell, Senior Information Security. This is the list here, right? Let's look for the GRC person. Differ, they do Threat Intel, they do Digital Forensics. Threat Intel leader's pretty good. Cyber Pro, Columbus, Georgia. Ben Knox is probably all up in there. CISO, definitely wanna connect with her here. I'm just gonna connect with all these people. Hey. Hey, Heather, let's connect. So you get the idea, guys. Do the work, you'll see. But I'm not saying you stalk these people, but you can make connections, you can say hi. Let's say Joseph France accepts my connection request. When he accepts it, I can reply to the message and say, hey, thanks for connecting. I'm working on getting into information security. I love GRC. I love Jerry's master analyst class. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's pretty cool. Like, see, you're delivering value right there. You're telling them about something that's cool and delivering value. So this is how you can do it if you wanna find some jobs and kind of build a targeted focus network.
Okay, Jerry, I'm doing this, but I'm still not seeing the desired results. Everyone I speak to says I need experience, but I don't know how to get experience. Well, I'm happy you asked. I have just the solution for you because I get asked it all the time. Check out this video right here where I go over how you can get real world experience in cybersecurity without having a cybersecurity job. It walks you through everything. You'll definitely want to check that out. So in conclusion, you can increase your chances of getting hired by bypassing the traditional HR process and leveraging networking, attending cybersecurity events, and joining communities can help you meet other professionals and stay up to date on job opportunities. Additionally, having a strong LinkedIn profile showcasing your skills and experiences is crucial in getting noticed by potential employers. Remember, finding your dream job in cybersecurity requires hard work, dedication, and a commitment to staying current on the latest news. There is no easy button. If you need to stay current on the cyber news in the industry, you can find Find me, Jerry Ozier, every single weekday morning doing a live daily cyber threat briefing. There's hundreds of people in there that you can network with as well. So don't forget to keep learning. I hope you can join us for the daily cyber threat briefing. And until the next time, stay secure.